He created a legacy. He passed that on to his daughter. They grew from a little apartment office to the San Juan Health Center to this today. The wonderful thing is it starts right here. This guy's vision over 40 years ago is what we're trying to do today all over the country. And what we've got to do is be able to export this to many other communities. The reason that I became a doctor was because I was idealistic and I wanted to provide good health care to the people in, in my community. I set up my practice in the community a block and a half away from where I was brought up because I felt that that was the best way. The forming of the San Juan Health Center broadened the scope of the things that I could do, but not far enough. And then the urban health plan went all the way. I could see that he was looking somewhere deep where the rest of us didn't quite reach, and that's the definition of a visionary. Richard was seeing these things that are happening now. When everybody left, you stood here. When people didn't want to know about the Bronx, you were here. When people were getting sick and there was no place to go, they came to you. And I'm pretty sure that the story of the Bronx cannot be written without Dr. Richard Schiello being part of that. Not only did he not flee, he got involved. And I saw the most impressive community health center in the country grow and prosper and become a beacon for other community health centers around the country. Doc, you have transformed thousands and thousands of lives. Not everyone gets a street code named after them. And when they do, 99% of the time they don't see it because they're not with us. But I strongly believe lo que me lo den, me lo den en vida. No one deserves this honor more than you, Richard, because of what you've accomplished and your vision. And more importantly, you make very few true friends. Richard is one of my true friends. When we went to the San Juan Health Center, we were in a haven, a place that accepted our language, our culture, and we were treated with grace and dignity. He was caring, compassionate, everything that all of us deserve from a doctor. And when he retired, he was responsible for the creation of a charter school that is encouraging children to become involved in health care. To make a man as amazing as he is, you have to be as caring as he is. I believe that if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be the same person I am today. You taught me that one person can make a huge difference in the lives of so many people, and that you don't have to go very far to do that. You could stay exactly where you were raised, and you can have the biggest impact in the world. And for that, you are the most special person, and I am the proudest daughter and the luckiest daughter to have a father like you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was a Puerto Rican doctor. There was this man who looked like a giant to me, and he was, still is, and he always wore a suit, and he was Dr. Izquierdo.